grew up with a lot of different musical influences. In my dad's household, it was all 90s country, and at my mom's house, it was all Motown. And then if I went over to my granddad's, it was mountain music. And so I think between the three, that was like the foundation of a lot of my musical inspiration. Actually, I started listening to old country in LA. Uh, in a bar called Little Joy. I would go to like Little Joy and Shortstop and these guys would spin vinyl, kind of like they do here at the dive. When I started singing, I mean, you hear it, it comes out. What's interesting about country is like, it's always been kind of coined as like three chords and the truth. Like John Prine paints literal pictures for us that follow you everywhere, you know, in the same way that when I was a kid and I was reading old Louis L'Amour or Zane Grey novels, I could actually picture the desert long before I had ever seen it. You know, I was in my mid-twenties when I decided to play music. I joke that spite got my career started. Uh, I was dating a country singer and I was trying to give him my two cents and he didn't want it. He cheated on me and broke up with me and uh, I wrote a record about it. I needed those literal lyrics as an outlet. So my songwriting became even more country by definition, but just more honest the more I realized that telling the truth was more relatable. You know, my dad was a dirt bike racer. The number one rule was never date a guy with a motorcycle or a van. So I grew up, you know, riding dirt bikes, riding like 350s or something, small bikes. But I wanted to ride motorcycles. It just seemed like a great community. It just seemed like who I wanted to roll with. But when I got here, I, I started to look around and it, and it was like that. There was a, a crew of guys called like the Blackbird thing that just met up on a Tuesday and rolled through town on all, all kind of bikes. But it just, it immediately clicked, you know what I mean? And it was fun for me to kind of ride alongside the boys, like, you know, to get, try to keep up and, uh, and have a good time and be treated, you know, with respect by a crew in a town where I didn't know a lot of people. Both like the motorcycle rider and, uh, and the musician have like the strongest sense of wanderlust. But I'm doing something that requires a patience and, a, and an, an attention that takes me away from writing or thinking or planning like logistics on how we're gonna make today pan out. My first songs came from tapping my finger in traffic. So it's like you get out there and you're doing it and it gives you a clean slate for something really to come in. Well, when I was 19, I moved to LA. I lived there five years, but I wanted to see that I could make it in New York City. I wanted to prove to myself I could make it in those cities, but it's my pride to call Nashville my home. My name's Nikki Lane. Ask me again, I'll bust you in the nose. <laughs>